Hello and welcome to another Science Tutor lesson. I'm your tutor Nathan and today we're going to be discussing graphs of motion. The graph of motion we're going to discuss today is what is called a displacement versus time graph. So a displacement versus time graph is a graph that represents how the displacement of an object or body varies with time. So displacement versus time graph will have two axes. Displacement goes on your y-axis with units of meters and time goes on your x-axis, units of seconds. Because we're investigating how the displacement of the object varies with time Displacement, in this case, is your variable under investigation. This is your responding variable, while time is your controlled variable. So, between the y and x-axis, you will have a line that represents how the displacement of the object varies as time passes. It may increase at some points. It may decrease at some points. But overall, this allows you to get a visual representation of how the displacement of the object is varying with time. If the displacement versus time graph has a horizontal section, horizontal with respect to the x-axis, then it tells you that the displacement s of the object is not changing. In other words, the object is not moving. The object is stationary. Right? So if the object if s is not changing, the object is stationary. It's not moving from one location to another. Its displacement is fixed or is constant at this value indicated by a y-axis. If instead of being horizontal with respect to your x-axis, the line representing your graph is sloping. In other words, it's at an angle, or it slopes with respect to your x-axis, then it indicates that s, your displacement, is changing with time. In other words, the object is moving. In addition, the gradient of this graph, the rate of change of your y variable with respect to your x variable, which is the gradient, is equal to displacement divided by time, which has units of meters divided by seconds. Now what you should notice is that these units, meters per second, are identical to the units for speed and velocity. And in actuality, the gradient of a displacement versus time graph is equal to the velocity of the object under investigation. So let me give you an example. I want you to write this down and work it out along with us. So if you have a piece of paper and a pencil or pen, then you can follow along. All right, this example says, starting from zero, an object's displacement increases to 10 meters in five seconds. Calculate the velocity of the object. So the first thing we do is using the information that we're given, to draw our graph. So the object's displacement is 0 meters at 0 seconds. After 5 seconds, the object's displacement has increased to 10 meters. It has moved 10 meters in 5 seconds. This is the displacement time graph for the information that we're given. Now using this information, we can also calculate the gradient of our graph, which will be equal to the velocity. Gradient is equal to change in y divided by change in x, which in this case is equal to 10 minus 0 meters divided by 5 minus 0 seconds. 
the zero appears in both of these statements because the initial displacement and time are both zero. And so the answer that we get is 10 over 5 meter per second or 2 meters per second. Yeah, simple as that. So this is an example of a displacement versus time graph. Remember that displacement goes on your y-axis, time goes on your x-axis. Remember also that the gradient of a displacement versus time graph is equal to the velocity of an object. If your displacement versus time graph is horizontal, or if there's a section that is parallel to the x-axis, such as this section right here, then its gradient, or the rate of change of y, which is displacement, with x, which is time, is equal to zero, which, as we said earlier, indicates that your object is not moving. So just remember these points about displacement versus time graphs. All right, we'll continue in another video with another type of motion versus time graph. But until then, feel free to like and share this video if you found it useful, and leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching.